Hey everyone, um, what we're going to do today is a uh, green pumpkin arky jig. Uh, in the vise we have a 3 8 ounce uh, arky jig with a 3 aught uh, Mustad 32 786 hook. Um, what's different with this is, is it's just basically a pattern video. Um, it's a green pumpkin variant that I use. And um, I'm going to mention like places where I purchased this stuff. Uh, one thing I can assure everyone is I'm not affiliated with any company or any sponsors or anything of that nature. Um, I buy everything I have. Um, I don't get any free product or anything of that nature. Um, so when I tell you where I get my stuff, it's genuinely where I buy my stuff at. Um, which is a number of different places, the majority of which is Barlow's Tackle, but I also use Lure Parts Online, Fishing Skirts, uh, dot com, uh, Real Sport, Real Sport Pro Fishing. There's a lot of different places that I use. So if I mention uh, a product and where I got it at, uh, that's just where I got it at. There's no affiliation or any kind. If there was, I would let you know right away um, to get that element out of the way. So now that I explain that, let's start with uh, some 210 denier flat wax nylon thread. And I'm going to use black for this. And there's a reason why. So we get our base started. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a half a tab of this color. And this is what I got at fishingskirts.com. This is a black with uh, green pumpkin Dalmatian tips. We're going to use a half a tab of this. And we're not going to tie this in the finesse style. We're going to make it a regular, like a, a regular flipping jig or so. And we're going to be just about the middle of this tab. I'm going to put just a couple wraps in there and then work this half a tab around. You could do it the simple way of um, like taking two tabs and tying one on the front, one on the back or up or down depending on how you look at the jig. Um, you could do it that way but I think it comes out better if you work each tab around. Um, that way you know your materials distributed evenly because uh, if you don't pay attention when you're tying it you could see how that goes it'll actually pull away from you so um, it'll pull it the material will move that's one of the reasons you have a uh, putting a base layer of thread on but if you don't put a heavy base on it'll move on you and silicone tends to move more than hair does it's a slicker material, so you got to work it around here. Sometimes you'll have to pull it. No big deal. And um, another thing I wanted to say is normally a jig like this I would wire tie, but I'm going to use different material in this uh, that I'm going to show you. And it's coming up right now is another product I got from Fishing Skirts. It's um, Green Pumpkin Dalmatian. But this is finesse cut silicone skirting. It's not fine cut. Fine cut um, has really fine strands. Uh, and it only comes in like a, the size of a half a tab of this. But it have the same amount of strands. This is thinner this way. It still has the same width as a regular skirt tab, but it's real thin. And what it does is this moves very fluid in the water. It will, um, you'll see when I finish this, uh, this will have two, uh, the way this jig flares in the water will have uh, a distinct look to it. So we're going to take this full tab of this uh, Green Pumpkin Dalmatian finesse skirting. And we're going to make two light wraps and we're going to just work the material and get it all the way around. Make a securing wrap or two 
make sure I got enough. Yep, it worked out pretty well. And then we're going to take a full tab of the green pumpkin, the, the black with the green pumpkin Dalmatian tips. And you can see it has that lighter colored Dalmatian print in the black there. Um, looks like water spots almost. This is a really good pattern. It's broken up. And I like doing that. I'll never tie like a straight green pumpkin jig or um, a brown jig. I'll always use different uh, versions of the colors, even if it's just different shades, um, different types of green pumpkin, dark green pumpkin, light green pumpkin. Um, I'll do that because I, I think it's more natural. It's it's It gives it a mottled appearance. Uh and that just has gives me more confidence. Whether it means anything to the fish or not, I don't know. But um, it makes me feel better. So I, I like doing that. So now we got our colors there. And it's just a matter of wrapping. And you go all the way down to that ring. And tie it tight. That's where you're going to get your flare. And like I said, the reason I'm doing this with thread on a jig that I normally would wire tie in this size is because that finesse skirting um, needs to be a little extra tight to get some uh, to get the amount of flare out of it. But you'll see when you turn it uh, upside down as uh, like uh, simulating the way it would fall in the water, it had it really is limp, and in the water it sort of flares out and just hangs there. Um, it doesn't sink right to the bottom like the regular material does. Um, it's really nice to work with. But again, it's it's not for every jig. For this one, I, I like using it for this pattern uh, because it's going to be primarily like stain, lightly stained or clearer water. So we're in a whip finish here. Six, cinch it, do another six, one, two, three, four, and it's tough with this hanging over, but and there we go. Cinch it. Trim it. Now I'm going to take my Loctite Super Glue brush on. Um, Michaels, Walmart, Ace Hardware Stores. You can get this stuff pretty much anywhere. Um, and if you, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, uh, I like using the Super Glue brush on. Uh, for silicone material and rubber and for hair, I like the Sally Hansen's and uh, the glue leaves like a little residue on hair that you could see, but the Sally Hansen's does it to um, to the silicone. Um, it's not bad, but it does leave a residue and I don't like um I don't like it, even though it's not really bad. It's just my personal preference, so I, I like to use the glue on this. So I'm going to take a regular scissors now, and I'm going to cut these tabs free. And then I'm going to pull this out, and I'm going to show you with that finesse material. And this is a weedless jig. There is a hole in here for a weed guard that I can add later on. But uh, we're going to take a forceps here, hemostat, whatever you want to call them, and I'm going to be able to hold this so you can get a look at it. Now here's just the material. It's a 50 strand skirt. Nothing major, nothing really exciting about it. Um, with the material, 
other than it, it, it's this green pumpkin. But when you turn this upside down, see how limp that is? You see how the, it's these strands here hanging out? Uh, these are hanging out because they're, they're the regular the regular strands of material. I have one trapped here at the hemostat. But this here underneath that's hanging, that's all that finesse material. Um, because it is much more, because it's so thin, it's a lot limper. So it really, it'll separate from the regular material in the water. It gives it a real distinct look. Um, that color pattern, like I said, works really good in clear water too. You could, you could see how the black and the green pumpkin work together. Give it a shot when you, uh, if you get a chance to try it out, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.